Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us for a special tour for our uh, ramen school. We are conducting uh, right now in our headquarter in Kagawa, Japan. And uh, as you can see, uh, it's a little bit messy over there because, uh, you know, exactly we're conducting the ramen school right now uh, this week uh, from Monday to actually to, for tomorrow. And so it's a little bit messy, but like, you know, we are having some students and because of the um, war situations that like, they are worsening, like with the COVID-19, you know, we're, we're taking uh, very cautious, like uh, measures, um, you know, against like, um, well, of course, like, you know, the risks of like getting, uh, you know, people infected. So, but, you know, we are conducting a primary school here in Kagawa, our headquarter. And um, so, you know, we'll, we're just kind of welcoming you guys to this tour, a special tour um, that we got giving to you, like, this week and um so it's uh you know the end of the year december and um it's the the last um ramen school that we are having this year and um you know well we're very glad to like you know that you guys can join us for this tour and so this is uh where like we conduct like lecture and um because you know it's a, it's the biggest probably one of the biggest rooms that we have like in this uh, building and so we have like all these like different types of noodle machines and uh, some of the um, well measuring devices. And then right now, actually, like you know, our instructor is like teaching uh, some student on uh, noodle making. And uh, so this is the where like we do the lecture and noodle making and uh, like some tests and, um, and different different things. And we have a kitchen inside where we're right now like conducting ramen school. And then um, today it's gonna be like, this is the fifth day of the uh, ramen school, like six day ramen school. And um, today we are doing the um, sort of like uh, one of the last uh, process, you know, like putting everything together. And um, we we'll like to have like um, one of the instructors, uh, Mr. Takeuchi uh, and Colin Thomas. Um, so he's one of the instructors of ramen school. And I'd like to have him like give you guys a tour uh, and then uh, explain a little bit about like what we do at a ramen school and uh, with Thomas. So I'll pass it to Thomas. So thank you guys for uh, joining us today. Thank you. Okay. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm one of the instructors of the Yamato Noodle School. My name is Thomas. So I will show you guys um, our ramen school right now. It's a six days long uh, ramen school and it's a fifth day. As you can see, the, uh, the students are working on their recipe and we have here is a stock. Uh, we have uh, over 10 different types of stock and um, for example, Here's a chicken light stock. This is great for shoyu ramen. And here's the pork leg thick. It's great for like the tonkotsu ramen, hakata tonkotsu ramen. So as you can see, we have more than 10 different types of stock and the students will blend these stock to make their own uh, ramen stock, okay? And we made this stock on the second day of the ramen school. So three days ago, so we start from the beginning, we use, uh, we start from the cleaning of the ingredients and we simmer the stock for over 10 hours to complete the stock. Okay. So because of the collagen in the soup, it's uh, in a jelly form, but once you heat it up, the soup will turn transparent and uh, clear. Thank you. 
So these are all the vegetable stock. So here's the onion, onion stock. And here's an apple stock. And these can be used as a part of a regular ramen or you can make a vegan ramen out of these stock. Okay, on this side, we have all that flavored oil. We have more than 20 different types of flavored oil. For example, here's a scallop. We use dried scallop powder to make the scallop oil. And here's a black garlic oil. These are great for tonkotsu ramen. And chili oil over here. Great for tantamen and spicy miso ramen. So yeah, these were made on the third day of the uh, ramen school. Okay. And over here. We have more than 10 different types of noodles. Uh, here's a sample. This is a miso ramen noodles. And these are skimen. So obviously, depending on type of the soup, uh, you have to adjust the, uh, adjust the type of noodle as well to pair up nicely. So we have ten, over 10 different types of noodles. Here's a uh, Hakata tonkotsu noodles. And over here is the flavoring sauce. Um, it's the key of the ramen soup. Uh, it flavors the sock and season it, and it gives more depth to the soup. Okay, so as you can see, we have. Uh, many different types of flavoring sauce over here. This is a shoyu base, soy sauce base, motodare, flavoring sauce. And it's flavored with many different things. Uh, this one is flavored with shrimp, dry shrimp powder. And this one is flavored with kelp. The soy sauce is flavored with kelp. And another one. So this is a salt based motodare flavoring sauce, which is flavored with clam. And this one is shiitake mushroom, salt-based motodare. And other things, uh, here's a fish sauce. And this is blended vinegar. And this is the sauce from the making chashu. So we have these like 30 different types of motodare flavoring sauce and we have 10 over 10 different types of stock and over 20 different types of flavored oil and 10 different types of noodles so the students brings bring these parts together to make their own re ramen recipe okay so I want to quickly show you guys how we do the blending of these parts so we start off from the stock Okay, so here I have the light chicken stock and uh, it's blended with uh, some fish stock as well. It's my favorite blend. So I'm going to heat up the stock. So the reason why we take this method of um, making ramen is because this allows us to make many different kinds of ramen 
and you can also learn what goes into your bowl of ramen. So you'll know uh, how to make shio ramen, shoyu ramen, miso ramen, and tonkotsu ramen by learning our method. Okay. So the stock is warmed up. So I'll bring the stock to a boil. Then I'm going to pour the hot stock into the bowl. And we'll use this scale. It allows us to measure up to 0.1 gram. We're going to use this and measure the motodare, the flavoring sauce. and pour it into the so, uh, stock. So first, I'll put in this vinegar. It lightens up the taste, and also it reduces the uh, porky flavor, the fishy flavor and stuff by having a little bit of acidity. So I'll measure two grams of this blended vinegar and pour into the stock. Next, we're going to use a fish sauce. The depth to the ramen soup. So I'll put in one gram of this fish sauce into the stock. Next, I'll put in the chashu, chashu sauce. Chashu marinating sauce. Uh, I'll put six grams of this. By the way, I'm making chicken shoyu ramen right now. Next, I'll put in the raw soy sauce motodare, which is flavored with three different types of dried ingredients. And I'll put 12 grams of this raw soy sauce motodare. And next, I'll put in the another dip, another type of, this is a little bit more milder version of the soy sauce motodare. Six grams. And then what we're going to do is we're going to mix the stock and the flavoring sauce together and taste test. And I'll drink this stock and taste test. Okay. Okay. So it's lacking in um, saltiness. So I'll add in some kelp, salt, salt, kelp, motodare. I'll put four grams of this. And salt sardine. So I'll put one gram of this. So this will give the saltiness to the ramen. So I'll check. Check the taste again, mix it up, and mm. so the saltiness is great. There's a great um, so amount of soy sauce flavor is enough as well. So the stock in motodare is at a great balance right now. So let's move on to the flavored oil. So here we have chicken oil, so I'll add in some chicken oil. So obviously the stock is chicken, so the flavor oil will also be chicken as well. I'll put four 
scoops of this chicken oil. And then, next I'll put in the scallop oil, one scoop. And here's a leek oil. So now we have the flavor oil in here as well. So let's taste check, uh, taste check as well. So I'm just gonna take a little bit and just taste test. Okay, the taste is great. So the stock, flavored oil, and the flavoring sauce is that great balance. And while we uh, measure and pour it into the bowl, I wrote down the recipe. So how much of each I put in. By keeping the recipe data like this, what you can do is um, you see the balance. So you'll know what goes into um, the shoyu ramen and how much of it. So when you make it for your um, restaurant operation, all you need to do is multiply this amount by 100 or 500 amount of bowls. Then you'll have your uh, flavoring sauce for your operation. Okay. So now, now that the soup is ready, let's boil the noodles and um, pair it up with the soup. So we're going to use this noodles today. There's some uh, whole wheat in here. You can see the the brown parts. These are the whole wheat. Okay. So we're going to boil these for a minute. Okay. So when you boil the noodles, make sure the water is rapidly boiling. And I'm going to put it in to the basket and mix it for the first five or 10 seconds. So once the noodles are ready, I'm going to strain the water out and put it into the uh, soup and taste check again. And when something's off, I'll adjust it by putting in a little bit more motodare or flavoring sauce into the soup. So obviously, once you put the noodles into the soup, it's going to dilute the soup a little. So sometimes it lacks in the, the saltiness. So you have, sometimes we need to add a little bit more motodare flavoring sauce after you put it into the noodles. Okay, the noodles ready. Make sure this water is completely strained out. And let's line up the noodles. And let's taste check. Okay, so I taste test tested the ramen 
uh, it's lacking in saltiness a little. So this is when you add a little bit more of this motodare. So I'm, I'm putting in salt kelp. So it adds the saltiness and also the umami from the kelp. Okay. And I'll mix the ramen again and taste test. Okay, so everything is on point now. And because I added in a little bit more of the salt kelp, I'll record that on the recipe, plus one gram of that salt kelp. So next time I'll know that I'll need to put a little bit more of that salt kelp. So this is how we create the recipe. But remember, this is not how a ramen shop make the ramen. Because at a ramen shop, what they'll do is um, they'll have small ladles. I'll bring it. So at a ramen shop, they'll have these small ladles. So it scoops up the perfect amount of motodare flavoring sauce, scoops up the perfect amount of flavor oil, and also scoops up the perfect amount of stock. So it's a very quick, simple operation. And what you'll do is you have these motodare flavoring sauce pre-mixed at a larger quantity. And also, same thing with the flavored oil. You just pre-mix it at a larger quantity. And all you do is use these small ladles to pick up perfect amount. So scoop up one scoop of the sauce, one scoop of the oil, and one scoop of the stock. And then uh, you'll have that same flavor that you made on this day of uh, soup blending. So today is more of a scientific take on ramen making. We adjust by uh, 0 0.1 grams of flavored oil to make your own recipe. Okay. And tomorrow, what we're going to do is um, we're going to have uh, operational practice because um, this is obviously not the operation, operational way of making ramen. So tomorrow, we'll adjust this kitchen into a more of a ramen shop kitchen and we'll make the ramen from the start to the beginning, uh, from the start to uh, the end, okay? So at Yamato Ramen School, you'll be able to learn how to make the noodles, that's the day one. And day two, we'll be making the stock, animal stock. And day three, we'll make the flavoring sauce and flavored oil as well. And we don't have it out right now, but we also have the toppings as well. We make that on the day three. And day four is pretty much the same thing we're gonna doing right now. So we blend these stock and motodare and flavored oil into their own preference and make your own recipe. And that's today as well. And the la final day, we have the operational practice where we, like I said, um, adjust the, this kitchen into a kitchen like in a ramen shop uh, to practice the operational uh, method. Okay. And lastly, on the final day, uh, we also put some toppings on it, and um, we will the students make their own final bowl of ramen with toppings. Okay. So that's the six days of uh, Yamato Ramen School. So as you can see, we, our take on our ramen making is a little bit different. It's more of a scientific method. Um, we adjust by 0 0.1 grams of motodare and, um, and flavored oil and stock. So we will be able to make any kind of ramen 
and also adjust it into your own preference so you'll be able to make original, uh, your own original ramen recipe. Okay, so that's about it from the kitchen. So I'll pass it back to Akira. So, um, thank you so much for guys um, joining us for the special tour and then um, you know, we hope that like things are going to be better pretty soon and for you guys to be able to like come to our school. And uh, the other thing is that like, you know, we are, we have been preparing for uh, e-learning courses that, you know, that we are hoping will uh, substitute some of the curriculum that we are going to be we've been doing um, in our real courses. So um, we hope to be able to like announce it like in a few months. And for those of you who are interested in it, um, please um, let us know by sending us an email. Uh, through our website, and then um, you know, person like for those be like who only know us, um, you can just send us send it to us like directly. So um, yes, so it's the end of the year, and then like you know, we'll we'll hope you guys um, have a great time with your family, and uh, well, please stay safe and healthy, and uh, we'll see you guys um, back in here like next year. Uh, so. Thank you very much for joining us for the tour. And uh, we wish you guys happy holidays uh, from everyone at Yamato. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.